today we want to determine the energy value in different nuts. You could do this for more than one nut and compare the energy value. So what do you need to use? We're going to use test tube, T-pin, the nut, a thermometer, a clothes pin, a Bunsen burner, and a gram scale. So the first step we want to do is to measure water to 20 ml. This is already pre-measured, so this is 20 ml. You pour the water into your test tube. Once you have done that, the next step you want to do is to take the temperature of this water. So that's the initial temperature of the water. So make sure you record the initial temperature of the water. Next step is to measure the mass of your nut. Alright, the mass of that nut is 2.4 grams. Next step, your next step is to put your T-pin into the nut, insert it slowly so it don't break. Then you're going to hold it with your close pin. After you put the T-pin in the nut, you're going to put a close pin to hold it to make sure that you don't get burned. So this will be like an insulator. You're going to catch your nut. You're going to catch your nut and fire. So once the nut catch fire, you can put it under your test tube. As soon as it not catch fire, you can put it on your test tube. So you want to make sure you maintain the distance of the nut on your test tube. And you're going to burn this nut until it is fully burnt out. Alright, once the nut has fully burnt out, your next step. So measure your final temperature of the water. So we're going to do that. You want to make sure that the thermometer is not all the way down to the bottom of the test tube. So once you've done that, you want to know, look at your new temperature of the water. That is after the nut is being burnt. Now we're going to check the mass of the burnt nut. Considerations for accuracy include one use the same volume of water maintain the distance between the nuts and the test tubes use the same type of test tube and the reason for this is because some test tube may be thicker than others and so you want to maintain the thermal conduction of the test tube burn the nuts Fully or at least for the same time for your results you want to note the mass of water and I want to point out that whatever the volume is in centimeters cube or ml is the same as the mass in grams so we use 20 centimeters cube of water in this experiment hence our mass is also 20 grams very important for you to determine the initial mass of the nut also the final mass the burnt mass it's also important to note the initial temperature of the water 
the final temperature of the water, the change in temperature of the water, and from this we can calculate our total energy and also our energy per gram. For the formula to calculate energy is MC delta theta. M is for the mass of water. C, which is the specific heat capacity of water, and it is given as 4.2 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Delta theta represents the change in temperature. Now for an example calculation, and we are going to calculate the total energy for almond. And so the energy here will be 20, which is the mass of water multiplied by 4.2 which is the specific heat capacity of water multiplied by 56 which is the change in temperature and so this gives us 4704 joules or 4.7 kilojoules for the energy per gram which will be the total energy divided by the burnt mass which in this case it is two grams now this gives us 2.35 kilojoules per gram now you can plot your graph showing the results and here we're looking at the energy per gram for each nut and we will see which of the nut will contain the most energy now some questions for discussion questions include in what form is energy stored in nuts what contributes to high energy content why is energy per gram more useful than total energy what accounts for a large nut with low energy and at this time, I want to tell you that I truly appreciate you watching these lessons and experiments. And I want you to endorse positive, positive energy. energy.